Dracula's face. Danny takes a toke. Danny takes a toke. That's ganja. Coors. Oh, don't drink Coors. In Canada, we call Coors piss water. Used to call it anyway. Danny takes a toke. Who's Danny? Oh, this is a joint. He's got in his ear. Look at his bloodshot eyes. Danny takes a toke. Dan Quail. It is Dan Quail. Card number 33. Dan Quail's Smoky Trail. During the final weeks of the 1988 presidential campaign, federal prisoner Brett C. Kimberlin called several reporters alleging alleging he had smoked marijuana with Dan Quayle at a 1971 frat party and had sold Quayle pot 15 to 20 times over the next year. Four days before the election, on the eve of a press conference, Kimberlin was placed in detention and barred from taking talking to reporters. On election night, while reporters awaited his phone call, Kimberlin was again uh, sequestered. Bureau of Prisoners Director J. Michael Quinlan claimed he did this to protect Kimberlin from fellow prisoners, but Quinlan's contacts with the Bush Quail campaign team days before the election election leave no doubt the story was squashed for political reasons. Since the, 19, since the 1937 Marijuana Stamp Act made it illegal, marijuana has been classified like heroin as a Schedule I drug with no medical value, despite therapeutic uses known for 150 years. Marijuana relieves symptoms of uh, glaucoma, restores appetite, reduces nausea, and is essentially effective in treating AIDS and cancer patients for side effects of chemotherapy. As a recreational drug, it is less dangerous to the user or, social, uh, or society than alcohol and far less addictive than tobacco. Marijuana use can impair short-term memory and daily uses are often poor students. The same could be said for watching too much TV. Marijuana fiber, known as hemp, is not a drug and until it was banned, was important, important to industry. Hemp is the strongest, most rot-resistant natural fiber known and makes superior rope, twine, and cloth. It is four times more pr productive per acre to grow hemp than um, pulpwood trees for making paper. The Declaration of Independence was written on hemp paper. Okay. And regarding cannabis, okay, also known as marijuana, but marijuana is more of a derogatory term now that CIA came up with. And we know that now, right? But cannabis has a tremendous amount of uh beneficial properties aside from helping with nausea increasing appetite um, it also opens up blood vessels so a lot of weightlifters bodybuilders actually and athletes actually uh, consume cannabis not recommended just sharing information okay look this up please Okay, don't take anything I say with a grain. Uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt. Uh, but especially bodybuilders uh, to increase blood flow to muscles. And now we know that CBD oils help with inflammation and many, many other skill skin ailments. Dan Quail, Potato Boy. Right. 
and cannabis it's still scheduled as a class one drug with no medical use even though in federally even though multiple states have now legalized the recreational use of cannabis as well as many more the medicinal use of cannabis and there used to be 10 years ago five people under federal law that had exemption to use marijuana as medicine